Who is this man in the tracksuit walking through the halls of the Pentagon? His name is Sri Chinmoy, and he has brought his message of peace to the heart of American military power. Sri Chinmoy is a spiritual master whose wide-ranging accomplishments in sports, art, poetry, and music are a vivid proof that man's inner life holds a wealth of untapped resources. He says that each of us has a tremendous creative potential, which can be brought forward through prayer and meditation. His meditation fosters a profound sense of inner peace, and for many years, Sri Chinmoy has been working to spread this peace on a global scale. My philosophy, your philosophy, his philosophy, are the same philosophy, love. Now, if I have love here, I will not go and fight with you. If I, if I have love, if you have love for this gentleman, then you are not going to quarrel and fight with, with him. If he has the same love for you, who will fight? Because we do not have peace in, inside our heart, then we fight. Because we feel, inwardly we feel that we are weak. Then we try to cover up our weakness by showing aggression. Let's see how strong I am, how strong. Here I am giving an example. Here, say, I will be lifting weight, my body weight, 71 kilos. Now, here's the thing, that if I feel inwardly strong, I am not going to fight with you. If you feel inwardly strong, you are not going to fight with me. Sri Chinmoy believes that outer power must be guided by an inner peace in order to create a harmonious world. Only with the security and well-being of inner peace, he says, can we increase our outer strength and use it constructively. Sri Chinmoy founded his own peace meditation group at the United Nations 18 years ago, and he has had groups at the U.S. Congress and the British Parliament for several years. These weekly meditations conducted by Sri Chinmoy and his students offer the members and staff an opportunity to develop an inner awareness of peace which can carry through to their work. Ever since his youth in India, Sri Chinmoy has been an enthusiastic and outstanding athlete. In the summer of 1985, after a knee injury prevented him from running marathons, Sri Chinmoy took up weightlifting. In his first three years, he has made amazing progress. When he started, he could lift only 40 pounds with one arm. Soon, he progressed up into the hundreds and then raising thousands of pounds with one arm. His unprecedented lifting record is 7,063 and three quarter pounds. On his third weightlifting anniversary, Sri Chinmoy was introduced by his good friend Bill Pearl. A five-time holder of the Mr. Universe title and many others, Bill Pearl is one of the most honored and respected bodybuilders of our time. I've been an active bodybuilder for over 40 years of my life. At times I've been claimed one of the strongest Mr. Americans that I've ever had. But I can say with all true sincerity, what you're going to see on stage when the feats of strength that Guru is going to perform, I doubt seriously if any one of them I could do today myself. And you ask, how can a man, 56 years old, weighing less than 150 pounds, derive such strength out of such a fragile body? And in my personal opinion, it comes from true inner faith in a higher supreme being. And that faith not only emulates through his weightlifting, but through his music, his poetry, his artwork, and the attitude and the impact that he has on his fellow human being. I have never in my life seen a man with charisma that this gentleman has. He can look at you and you become humble. And a person like me, that's just exactly what I need to humble myself. And, and to start this out, I'd like to introduce Sri Chinmoy. This is a gentleman who's going to do all the work this evening. By the time it's over, he's going to lift over 40,000 pounds this evening. Sri Chinmoy. Who is going to weigh himself and get an exact weight 
He is then going to, with one arm, support overhead at full length of his arm, his body weight with his right arm, and then duplicate this again with his left arm. It should be somewhere close to 150 pounds. going to attempt is a double arm dumbbell press with 120 pounds in each arm, 240 pounds overhead in dumbbells. That's a, again, is a tremendous, tremendous feat of strength. In 1974, he entered the world of art. As with his other activities, Sri Chinmoy uses his paintings to convey his inner experiences. He says that he follows a streak of light on the paper, and by translating this light into color and form, he is trying to inspire others to embark on their own inner quest. Sri Chinmoy says that his art is based on the qualities of a childlike consciousness, simplicity, clarity, and purity. He calls this art Jarnakala, which is Bengali for fountain art, art stemming from the source, from the fount of creation. Since 1974, he has created some 140,000 works, which have been widely exhibited around the world. There is no gulf between art and spirituality, he says. If the aim of spirituality is to know the self, then the aim of art, too, is the same. On a recent visit to Washington, D.C., Sri Chinmoy performed a concert of his own compositions at the Jefferson Memorial overlooking the Tidal Basin. to a universal harmony. Meditation takes us into the deeper part of our being. The deeper within we go, the clearer it becomes that we are all bound together in the music of inner oneness. One supreme tune is being played, and this is the tune of universal oneness. Sri Chinmoy often appears on local television shows. Sri Chin Moy is our next guest on the program, and he is the holder of the United Nations Medallion for Peace. Here I was lifting up in my body weight, which is um, uh, with one hand yesterday at the studio. That's amazing, absolutely amazing. And the physical fitness is of paramount importance. And if you are physically fit, then you will be able to pray and meditate regularly, and then we shall have both inner power and outer strength. They must go together in order to be a perfect human being. One complements the One other, complements in other words. Other. You, you, you've been quoted as saying your, your spiritual in, inside helps you with your physical outside. Absolutely. It is the inner, inner, inner power that has to come to the fore and then uh, offer services to mankind. Sri Chinmoy continues to astound with his Herculean feats of strength. My weightlifting, my running, my music, anything that I do is, uh, is founded 
upon my oneness with the world. I love the world and I want to become part and parcel of the world. But this love for the world comes from my soulful prayer. I, it is from the prayer, my prayer life and meditation life that I get inspiration to be of service to mankind. In Indonesia, Sri Chimoy lifted his body weight on television. During his stay in Indonesia, Sri Chinmoy visited the ancient Buddhist monument of Borobudur. Built in the 8th century, this colossal shrine represents the Buddhist cosmos. On the lower terraces, carvings represent the world of desires, while higher up, the life of Lord Buddha is depicted. At the highest levels, the figures represent the spiritual world beyond time and space. at the center is a symbol of the Buddha in the state of enlightenment. Sri Chinmoy paused to pray and contemplate the Buddha's message. Sri Chinmoy himself wants to inspire as many people as he can to draw on their inner powers and lead a better life. This is why he has lifted so many of his students. It was a way of expressing his love for them. Sri Chinmoy students look to him as a tremendous source of inspiration through all the activities he performs. By developing a closeness with their teacher, the students share in the qualities of love and strength which he develops. Through the constant unfolding of his spontaneous spiritual energy, Sri Chinmoy is redefining the boundaries of human capacity. At the same time, he is passing on his peace and power to his students and the world at large. <laughs>